This is going to be what I call a situationship reading. It's going to be for anybody who's in a confused connection with somebody. You could see it as twin flame. You could see it as karmic. You could see it as soulmate, whatever it is you feel, but you feel like there's some type of strain or there's lack of commitment or there's been some ghosting or some inconsistencies or maybe just some bad treatment and you really need to know. The number 10 is very significant to this reading. For some of you, this could be the 10th month that you were born, like October, or it's the 10th month now, or the 10th month they were born. All right, let's get into it. Five cards from here. The first card that comes up is not enough. A frustrated relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, and jealousy. So it looks like this is kind of like a complex or complicated connection. There's frustrations here on both sides, it looks like. It looks like the person that you're dealing with does not have a good level of confidence. They might do things to sabotage good things in their life. Maybe they don't even recognize this or maybe they do and they don't you know, want this uncovered. I feel like they are not as available to you as they should or could be. And I do feel like there's a lot of issues with this person's ego and past hurts, whether that has to do with you or other people that this person has been involved with. But for you, it's not enough. You need more than what this person is giving. It is just not fulfilling. They may give you little breadcrumbs or snippets or whatever, and it's not enough. You're looking for more companionship. You're looking for more, you know, stability and more connectedness, more intimacy. This person is just not, not that. And I feel like they might even be a bit like emotionally detached or emotionally unavailable. There's also jealousy issues from the past. This could be on both sides next card i pulled is looks like this is like a just kind of like a dead end situation with this person even if there's been kind of like new exchange of like feelings and you know like communication and and that sort of thing i feel like it's kind of like something that's going nowhere and deep down you know you know this because you do not want your time wasted life is too short to have our time be wasted or to spend time you know on things or people that are just not bringing forth change I also feel like this person is stuck on the past. They're stuck in kind of like a grief mode. They might be like over grieving something. There's like an inability to kind of like liberate themselves and, and grow where you on the other hand are growing and you are, you know, changing and you are like open to new beginnings. This person has runner energy. This could have been a codependent relationship. There is a definite fear of intimacy here. And again, with this ego, this person is trying to outrun their ego rather than face it, rather than face their real problems. This person would rather run to them. It's easier to run. It reminds me of that Linkin Park song, easier to run. This is also somebody who can't face themselves. It's also somebody that plays games a little bit and wants to kind of be chased around and is kind of vague. I feel like there's a lot of reminiscing going on with this person. There could be like issues with the way you're perceiving them or the way that they're perceiving you right now. I also feel like this is like learning from the past. Like if in the past you weren't happy with this person, it feels like you won't be now. This is also like a person who's kind of stuck in the past. Like when this person is not being receptive with you, I feel like they're just dealing with a lot of crap and a lot of shit they're bringing on themselves. And they could be avoidant because they're also being avoidant of their problems. They may have anger still or resentment still that's not dealt with. Maybe it's towards you, maybe it's towards something in the past. They are awful at boundaries. They let people walk all over them. Bottom line is you deserve better. What do you need to do to break your chains sort of from this person? So there could be like an abandonment issue. This could be in your shadow. This could be an area where you need to shine some light and look at it lovingly. If you're looking to book readings with me, all my information is in the link in my bio.